All right, I don't even know if you'll be able to see me right now because my camera does like not any good in the dark. And I'm gonna step out here in a little bit of light that there is right here. Now you might be able to see me a little bit. It is three o'clock in the afternoon and it's dark 30 out here right now, let me tell you. The uh, weather people have kept on, kept on, kept on. You can hear the thunder off in the background, maybe. Um, have kept on repeating it over and over again. There's a tornado like right above me and I guess that's where I we're hearing the thunder I just saw it on the radar in there and it's amazing to me that this property this little bit of area Not just this property, but this little area right here where I'm at always has like a little bubble of Blankness and all I have is the clouds up here and a matter of fact now it's uh, lightening up compared to what I uh, it was before I actually grabbed the camera. I guess it may actually clear out. But look here, three o'clock in the afternoon, and it's so dark out here that the street lights have come on on Crab Chest Island. That's pretty impressive darkness right there for uh, cloud cover. And I know it happens uh, other places, not just here, but I just thought that was interesting. And look at the cloud coloration that we have going on up there. I'm just going to leave the camera uh, right up here for a moment. Get me a good shot of me. Oh yeah, you can see that. But look at the, the coloration of the clouds. You can see it's starting to break up over here. But right this way, I don't know how far up, probably, it looked like about five miles on the map. Um, there's a tornado. And I hope it doesn't kill anybody, but the place where it's actually at right now, I have no love loss for, so it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'm not making light of the weather or anything like that, but I have, uh, like, I don't know, I posted on Facebook, it's a tornado party and people get pissed off and all that. I look forward to your letters. But anyway, uh, I have the right because this house behind me was lost in the most popular storm of the century, I think, Katrina. So I can make fun of things because I know what it is to lose everything and rebuild. Um, so yeah, well, as long as we're careful and as long as we use common sense, don't let the weather people pull the heartstrings of America. And if I did lose everything, of course, yeah, I'd be in a bind and I'd be crying and woohoo and boohoo and all that. But as long as I was alive, we would survive and move on. Um, why did I want to do this? The past couple of days, I guess, I had talked to Rampage, bunches and bunches, and Chuck is alive, just to let everybody know. Uh, I was talking to Shawnee E the other day, had just asked me had I heard from Chuck. No sooner than I got done talking to him, Chuck calls me finally. And I had been trying to call him, email, whatever. Uh, his internet's been down in his area due to circumstances beyond his control because he lives in that area where there's been a bunch of tornadoes, been a bunch of flooding from the Mississippi River. And I'm going to turn the camera up this way and let you see that while I talk. But uh, we had talked about the way the actual atmosphere has been feeling these past few days. And that I said, yeah, it feels like a, a thunderstorms or whatever could pop up any time around my area. Oh, look, the wind's starting to pick up. Where's it coming from? Ah, why well, can't... It's just churning up up there, man. I don't know if they'll get any rotation, but... Anyway, we just talked about the way the atmosphere has just been feeling weird these past few days. And I was like, yeah, it's going to pop up just out of nowhere. I can see it. I can feel it. And here we go. Today, it's like that. This is perfect coloration because uh, my family actually spent some time in Oklahoma. That's where I was born, in uh, Lawton, Oklahoma, in the Reservation Hospital uh, there. So we have seen this before and are very familiar with it. And you just got to be careful, you know, just got to be careful. And it's amazing that the weather women, or woman, weather women? The weather woman on TV, uh, and everybody else, as a matter of fact, not just her, past few days have been just begging for rain. It's like, oh, we're in such a severe drought. Uh, there's burn bans everywhere. We need the rain badly, and today it's raining. And now, all of a sudden, it's like, Oh, we're getting so much rain. We're being inundated and wet. Uh, this and that and the other is like, huh? <laughs> we need this. What are you complaining about? Stop complaining. And the same woman that I'm talking about, I guess what I was talking about, mentioning her, I'm watching behind me because I don't want the limbs or the wind to pick up too badly. 
uh, it's amazing she brutalized the pronunciation of some of these uh, roads around here like Saracena didn't have a clue how to pronounce that but it's Saracena and she was like Sarah uh, C uh, uh, you know uh, something yeah the wind's picking up big time check that out that ain't that bad whoa that's bad oh look at this look at this yeah that is a big gust right there Woo! lightning uh oh we got some activity happening I might have to retreat <laughs> forget the woman of pronunciation yeah here it comes we got it I'm out here crap chest live on the scene with your weather forecast of crap chest I and your limbs and shit snapping off now let me get out of here because oh shit is that rain like piece of hail hit me because it's a craft of the mind I got to get out of here three o'clock in the afternoon people check it out street lights crab chest island and people out here driving in this they pack that I got done my stuff and uh, I ain't going nowhere today this is it let's go watch the weather and the radar <coughs> later yeah man cut Ray truck driving passed out phantom 309 motherfucker boom